Well, we're in 1986 and we pick up the play in the last quarter. Commentators Doug Hayward and Ray Walker. Keep an eye out for a young demon by the name of Gary Lyon, who was making his debut wearing number three. A magnificent final turn by Egan. His tenth kick and he looks downfield there for James. James is pulled down. Hughes goes on and gives away a free kick, I think. Free to Waitman, Duck. Yes, gives away a free kick against Hughes. And go to Waitman. Better and damaging Waitman's player since half time. A wonderful game since half time. Very, very quiet in the first half. But the old stars have come into prominence. Lee, Waitman, Roach, Philip Egan, a lovely final term. Waitman downfield, in front Peter Moore. Up above him was Landy, punching it down. Jack for Zantuck, and the whistle is blown. And there's a free kick on the shoulder, and I think it's to the Tigers. And going to it's, Landy. it's going to Landy. And Landy's the oldest player on the side, I think. And he's done it pretty well, too, doesn't he? He's done it well. Yes, he's a beautiful mark as his ex Geelong player. And playing in a difficult role, and a half forward flank most of the time. Well, Richmond have uh, got far more experience, Doug, but they've had to fight hard against the enthusiastic demons today. The free kicks are Richmond, 25 to Melbourne's 13. Landy with his left foot kicks for goal. That's going to make it hard for the Demons. Landy's kicked a couple. And full marks to both these clubs today for turning on what has been a crackerjack game of football. Played in most unlike football conditions. With the temperature well in the 30s here in Melbourne today, it's Lee again to Waitman. What a great combination they've been since half-time. And here's Landy breaking through with pace against another quick player in Cole. Hughes has been a handy player since coming on, down to a near. Here's Melbourne picking up through Newport. The hand pass is a wild one, but uh, fortunately for Melbourne, it comes out to Cole. He picks up now and uh, looks for Turner. It comes down to uh, Thornton, who's been a good player for Richmond. He's played very well, Thornton. He's kicked three goals from centre field, and this time he puts Richmond back into attack. Magolo is there. He's a little bit slow. Back it comes uh, to Melbourne. We defend very well finally through Cole again. The centre field where it's all Richmond. And the strong mark there has been taken by Palm. Palm right in the centre of the ground. <coughs> and got a 15 metre penalty. <coughs> so he goes further downfield and kicks it long. Knocking down there for a fly by Roach. Fine, and got it. What a magnificent mark. A splendid kick there too. And Roach was poised in amongst the wall of Melbourne Guernseys. That's his ninth mark and a spectacular last quarter by Michael Roach. That really was a fly and he's been a dominant player in this final term. Comes in to kick his third goal for the term. He's hit the post twice in this term. Uh, what more can you do as a full forward? And that's made it very difficult for the Demons. Turner against Lee. Lee again, who's been absolutely great as a centre bounces. Winning a count that's knockouts. It comes down to Strawn. Down on the half four line where it's in here. One out by Burke, who's been a very handy player for Melbourne. Breaks clear from half back. He's now on centre wing. He goes short and finds his teammate in Ted Fitch, who came on as interchange player and has been a great half forward for Melbourne, kicking three goals. Fitch this time goes out wide. Johnson with the luck of the bounce. A hand pass comes back there to his teammate in line. That's Gary Lyon, and he's kicked a goal. So Melbourne not giving up without a fight. Well, here comes the tireless Mark Lee. In to do battle with Turner this time. Turner does it well and charges on and goes again. Thumps it out the half forward fake. Here comes Wilson. And also Peart. Peart will take a free kick, and Wilson playing a shocking last one from half-back. He's been a good defender. He goes out wide this time in the direction of Egan. Egan couldn't mark. It comes on to Strawn. Strawn got one in the back. Plays allowed to go on. It's Newport finally picking up for Melbourne. He goes short. And with the luck of the bounce, it's Turner this time from centre, centre field driving Melbourne. Deep in attack where the cover mark has been taken by Reynolds. Plays on quickly to Wilson. Wilson will run in and kick a goal. And Melbourne have reduced the margin to just three points. What a comeback by Melbourne. That's one favours Lee, but Turner takes him on down to Roberts. Roberts can't get his kick under pressure. Coming through was Grinter. Hand pass down a chance for Lee again. Lee boots it out wide and leading is Burke. 
Burke got a wrong bounce out there, gets a lovely one this time. He's got the turn and he does it well too, gets out of danger and said he's out to Zantuck, stretches there too. Zantuck will have to get to his left foot. Oh, he's tripped. Good, play, Good effort by Zantuck at half-back. He's played well since coming on. He showed the deficiencies of no right foot that time, didn't he? Didn't he ever. Zantuck this time will put Melbourne out of danger. The mark has been taken by Grinter at centre field. What a timely mark by Grinter. As Melbourne need to uh, get a hurry on. They trail by three points at the 20-minute mark. This is Grinter up to Reynolds. Over the top was McCormick. In there is Francis. He's had plenty of opposition from Ted Fidge. This time it's Francis getting the ball away. Cleverly up high was Newport. Here's Lee tapping on to Walsh. Richmond in trouble. In there is Richmond diving on the ball through Eustace. And a free kick has been found. Now a ball up. So a ball up with tremendous pressure on in this game. Richmond lead by just three points at the 21-minute mark of this final term. But it's on Melbourne's attacking half-forward flank in front of a delighted member stand as in comes Turner to take on Lee. Down it goes to Fitch. Chance for Turner again. Picked up by Newport. Kick is smothered. Gives the opportunity there to Palm to a near. Palm it was. He lost it. Out to centre wing position. Landy goes up. Punches out wide again. Fought for it very valiantly there was Eustace. Used to tell it a long time, but I think the umpire's going to bounce it. And Mark Eustace has been a good player for the Tigers. Well, what's the decision? The umpire's talking to Teddy Fitch up, and Landy. It is a ball up. So a ball up at centre field. And what a tight finish. Richmond just lead by three points at the 22-minute mark of this final term. One out by Peter Moore. He's been a tireless ruckman. It comes down to Walsh for Richmond. Walsh's kick is not a good one. Here comes Straw and Bursting Clare, taps it on cleverly, keeps the ball in play. Here's Regolo picking up for Melbourne. We'll have one bounce. Evades an opponent cleverly on the Zantuck. Good play by Melbourne as they go back into attack. Up high was Pett. Here's Melbourne looking dangerous through Turner. Oh, a great defence there by Pett. He was held without the ball. And it's Pearl, in fact, who'll take the free kick. Now it's Pett. It is Pett. And what a great game he's played at centre half back. And beautifully out to the flank it is to Lockman. Pett's 13 kick. And Lockman out wide. And they're alone and unattended through Johnny Anir. Anir on the centre wing position. Drives it down looking for James. Over the top it goes. And here comes Danny Hughes to take it on. He's in trouble on the boundary line. And is quite relieved to take the ball over the line with him. As he's been tackled by Stephen James. And Richmond have swung into attack. They lead by three points. Great tactics there by Hughes to force the ball over the line for a boundary throw-in. Peter Moore, who's been a tireless ruckman, will be up against Roach. This time it's Moore in front winning out. It comes to ground. No one pick, pick it up. There's a big pack there, converges on the ball. It's finally Cole breaking clear on the left boot. But he's put it over the line on the full, and the free kick will be taken by James at half forward. He's on his uh, left boot, which will favour him from that angle. In fact, he's on the left half forward flank, with Richmond leading by three points at the 23 minute mark of this last quarter and this is the way the game's been all day first one team leading then the other James who's been a handy half forward without dominating this time his kick will drop short right in the teeth of goal but the fine mark there has been taken by Danny Hughes all the club's best and fairest for 1985 and that was a telling save goes back and kicks it long out wide looking for a leap by Regolo Regolo hits it down towards Johnson Johnson falls to the ground but still fights desperately across it goes towards Newport an opportunity for Regolo again well done youngster and Regolo boots it down to Melbourne's half forward flank and he has been one of Melbourne's better players even though he was on the mighty Michael Roach who broke away from him that quarter there's Alan Johnson who's really been a star for the Demons limping back into the fray Hughes now back on Roach duck yes more experience that. well they just had to make a change because Roach dominated so much in that third in that final turn is Lee and Ruck against Turner. Lee wins out again. Down to Egan, who got one high and will take the free kick. Philip Egan, who's been a good player for Richmond. Hand pass lands with Manier, but he's been told to go back and take his free kick. Free kick to Philip Egan. Kick number 11 to him. He's been a useful player. Richmond lead by three points at the 24-minute mark. Time running out for Melbourne, but they've made a great fight of this match. Up high there is uh, Peter Moore over the back. Oh, the Richmond player got one there and thought and should have got a free kick. He's Melbourne breaking clear through Johnson, who's been a grand player for them. Johnson on centre wing. He cleverly gets around Lee to centre the ball for Melbourne to half forward. Up high the pack goes. It comes down to Newport. He'll have a shot for goal. 
It's wide, it's offline. In there is Regolo, now at, at forward. But uh, it'll beat that player and go over the line for a boundary throw-in. Daryl Cox. Daryl Cox. The chaser that. at that stage, yes. It's Been over the line. Player. <laughs> well, Melbourne in attack. They trail by three points. It's right where they want it. Cox comes down, can't break away. Philip Walsh with it, loses it. And there'll be another bounce. And there's still time for Melbourne to take the lead. We've just ticked into time on period. They trail by three points, but the bounce will only be about 20 metres out from goal. Daryl Cox and Mark Lee goes up above him. It's picked up brilliantly by Walsh and driven downfield, and the mark is cleverly taken by Rigolo. Rigolo now is too far out to score, but a big one will put it right in the danger zone. Long, high it goes downfield. Out in front it goes. Here's a chance for Melbourne battening through. Taken by Waitman. Cleverly out it goes and boots them out of danger. And the mark is taken by Straw. Straw at half back. <clears throat> Hasn't got a lot of pace but uses what he has this time to good effect on the left boot. Goes out wide to James. Nipping in there was Burke with very clever play. Great pace on the Fitch. Fitch was held without the ball and should get the free kick and does. Good decision there by the umpire. That's a very good one. And Fitch uh, from centre wing who's really livened that Melbourne attack since coming on to half forward will centre the ball up to half forward where the pack fly, it comes to ground oh in there is Johnson, can he win the game for Melbourne he's been a match winner all day but he's offline for one behind only a costly miss by Johnson who was somewhat unsighted in shooting for goal Melbourne trail by two points at the 26 minute mark of this last quarter Doug, can they get up? Well, it's ticking away. It's 26 and a half now, Ray, as Peter McCormack, the ex-Collingwood star, now for Richmond, boots it out wide. Up goes Cox and Moore, and Moore takes the mark. Peter Moore has been a gallant goer for Melbourne all day. He's a long way out, boots it into the danger zone. High they go, and Richmond mark. Beautifully taken, safe, solid and reliable. Peter McCormack steadies the side and once again boots them out of danger. And goes out wide onto the half-back flank in front was Francis S. Johnson. He's irrepressible. A hand pass on to Batterson. Batterson goes short. Fine play by Melbourne. And it's Teddy Fidge who could be a match winner. He's already kicked three goals, four. He's no more than 35 metres out from goal. This is his seventh mark. And Fidge has the opportunity to win the game for uh, Melbourne. Kick number 12 coming up at the 27-minute mark of this last quarter. And this could be the kick that will win the game for Melbourne. They trail by two points. Richmond 19-14-128. Lead Melbourne 18-18-126. Let's wait on this shot for goal by Fidge. And it's a great effort. Melbourne back in front at the 27 and a half minute mark. The Demons lead by four points. Peter Moore back on the ball, goes up against Mark Lee, Lee down, an opportunity for Eustace, taken away from him, behind is Melbourne's opportunity, thumped by Bailey, down to the half forward line, Wilson, too clever, should have played on, here comes Baniston, across it goes to Lyon, he kicks for Garland, puts it through, it's over, well Gary Fantastic finish by the Demons. There was no further score in the last two minutes and Melbourne got up to win by 10 points after Richmond had led by 15 points during the last quarter. Melbourne led by 15 points at halftime. A real seesawing game. For Melbourne, Ted Fidge kicked four goals and Reynolds kicked three. For Richmond, Roach got six. Pickering and Thornton each kicked three goals. To Richmond. Pearl is ready now to hand pass to Strawn. Strawn will be caught by Johnson and brilliantly caught. Johnson well done. Opportunity now for Thornton. Well played, Roberts. Caught. Johnson again. Wilson downfield. And it goes out wide. It's picked up nicely by Fitch. And Fitch will be shepherded. Fitch can go again if he wants to. Steadies and misses. As a tribute to Piet. Moore has been moved to centre half forward at this stage. Moore comes in to do battle with Francis. Richards, well done. Tries to bully through. He does.